by two. Or the maximum value of shear stress in three dimensional, or the Mohr circle in three dimensional. Consider here a two dimensional element and a three dimensional element also. So we'll transfer from two D to three D. So this one is sigma x. This one is sigma y. So only two stresses are there. So this is sigma max equal to same as sigma one, and this is sigma mean is equal to sigma two. If you want to transfer from two D to three D, and we only find out the principal stresses. Then we can allocate the value of sigma one along the x face, sigma two along the y face, and sigma three equal to zero on z face. So we can effectively convert the 2D element into 3D element. It does not matter what is the value of sigma one, sigma two, but the sigma three is always zero, which is acting on the z face. So we can draw the Mohr circle using sigma one and sigma two knowledge. Then one is sigma one and sigma three, and one we can draw. Only diameter is known. Then we can find our center point and we can locate the Mohr circle. Remember, we are collecting the absolute shear, not only shear. Then we can locate sigma max, we can locate sigma minimum, and if we join these two points, or we can directly draw the circle from these two points, that will be representing the Mohr circle. So only two values are required. One is sigma one, and second is sigma two or sigma three. So since we have three values of principal stress, we can draw three different Mohr circles using three different combinations. Then which circle, which has a maximum diameter, will be called as absolute shear stress. So first we'll draw sigma one and sigma two. Then we'll draw sigma one and sigma three, and finally we'll draw sigma two and sigma three combination. Let temporarily assume that sigma one and sigma two both are positive value, and sigma one is higher than sigma two value. So we can mark sigma one and we can mark sigma two, and sigma three is zero value will be at exactly at origin. So first of all we'll draw the Mohr circle using sigma one, sigma two. So this Mohr circle is connecting between the sigma one and sigma two. Similarly, we can draw one more circle between sigma two and sigma three. So this one is second more circle, and one more circle we can draw from sigma one and sigma three. So this green circle is the maximum possible diameter of a more circle, and this the radius of this one will represent the value of tau max. That is called as absolute shear stress, not a maximum but absolute value. The procedure is straightforward. Locate sigma one, locate sigma two. And locate sigma three and draw the three possible circles. Mathematically, also you can find out. Mathematically, you can find out by finding the three different value as tau max absolute equal to maximum of sigma one minus sigma two, or absolute of sigma two minus sigma three by two, or absolute of sigma three minus sigma one by two. So this is a mathematical procedure and calculation procedure. Otherwise, you can very quickly draw the three more circle and find out tau max absolute.